New Braunfels, one of the fastest growing cities in the entire country. That growth has brought along a lot of new opportunities, but also some challenges. Yeah, our Samuel King joins us now. Sam, traffic and congestion, just one of the side effects of growth that city officials are trying to manage there. It is a growing problem up there in New Braunfels, Steve and Myra. They're focused not only on roads, but also on sidewalks and bike lanes, as people who live and work in the area are demanding more options. When the city almost doubles in size, congestion is sure to follow. Last year during the shutdown, it was really nice, but yeah, traffic has definitely uh, been picking up a lot. Trisha Coe commutes to New Braunfels every day from the Floresville area. She's one of the new arrivals in our region, moving to Texas a few years ago from California. She's glad to see that TxDOT and local officials have been focused on improvements to roadways like I-35, State Highway 46, and Loop 337. So I think that'll really help with the congestion. Assistant Public Works Director and City Engineer Gary Ford says the city is also focused on improving local streets. We have uh, four corridors currently either under construction or under design. And then we're going through some of the major roadways and just doing, doing a total rehab. The city is also responding to more demand when it comes to sidewalks and bike paths. Sidewalks weren't necessarily a priority or a requirement for some of the new developments, or they re receive waivers for sidewalks. But as the community is starting to grow, uh, the, the demand for pedestrian improvements, pedestrian mobility, and also bicycle mobility has come up. Mayor Rusty Brockman says much of the work is being paid for by bond issues approved by voters. They understand if we want to be the type of community that all of us old timers want it to be and all of those new folks coming to town want it to be, we've got to keep up with the growth. Co says while some parts of town remain congested, overall she's pretty satisfied. But I think that most of the city has been managed really well in the growth area, making room for all the new businesses coming in or all the new residents. And she is actually one of the 70% of people who work in New Braunfels who actually commute from outside of the city. Another thing that's adding to the growth up there. And as we reported back in the summer, New Braunfels also studying expansion of transit options in the community, both in town and possible connections to areas like Seguin, San Marcos, and San Antonio. We'll keep an eye on that.